Hi, I'm Graeme Johnston. I'm Mr. Kaupai Puku, and I'm going to introduce you Jeff from Aquaveno in Yarraville. What a beautiful establishment to eat, I've got to say. I'm uh, going to prepare for you uh, stuffed artichokes. Most people will look at an artichoke and they don't know what to do with it, but uh, there's certain ways you can easily just uh, prepare them and cook them, and they are delicious. We've got some pancetta, onion, and garlic. Oh, yeah. They've already been yeah. fried off, remember? Now we're just going to uh, blend those together. We want to grab the bread crumbs because this starts soaking up all the um, all the moisture and whatnot in the in the um, pancetta. We've got the rosa capsicum. Oh, I love the colours, Jeff. We've got the black olives here. Parsley. Oh, lovely. Love the colours. What are the richness in the colours? Parmesan cheese and our spring onion. Now once all that's done, I just want to give it a light mix around. Just getting those flavours working together. Now, in order to combine all these together, the last thing I'm going to add in is a couple of eggs. Now once you've got the eggs in, you just want to fold that through just so everything sort of clams together. Just with the artichoke, the ends here, you just want to get rid of the ends here so it's just a little bit easier to stuff uh, later on. And generally the uh, the artichokes, they go a bit um, dark and bittery at the end, so it's quite good to get rid of them. Once that's done, you just dig your fingers in. Really quite simple. Now as you can see, I've just um, cleared all that, gotten to the centre, the heart there, just ready for stuffing. And simply just chop the stem off there, because this gets very bitter if you cook the stem. And we're ready. Now to finish off um, the authentic Italian cuisine. Uh, the new superfood of today that can be added in is uh, your blend of naked cow pie puku. And we're putting those beautiful natural enzymes into this authentic Italian, yeah. southern Italian dish. Mate, magic, do your magic. And I'll tell you what, I've been, uh, I've been cooking these for a, a bit of time now and they come out magic. They're fantastic. Just in the amount of ingredients I've got here, um, I'm not shy on it, I do like it because it brings out a real nutty flavour through this day and age. Uh, people have got to be uh, very conscious about their food, what they eat and um, you know, everything's going organic these days. What we're going to do here is spread the leaves and get as much of that ingredient into the artichoke as possible. Now go, go deep, go low because you don't want this stuff falling out later on and you want them packed <laughs> with vitamins and minerals and all that goodness. The artichoke, first thing you do, face down, make sure that oil is nice and hot there because um, we don't want to overcook it. Just on the head there, probably about a minute and each corner um, also about a minute each. So you're looking at about four to five minutes uh, to sear it all off. Now what I prepared here was uh, a simple Napoli sauce, a couple of cans of uh, organic tomatoes, a glass of white wine, glass of uh, chicken stock, and uh, no salt, pepper or anything. I'll let the artichoke do the talking in this dish. Head first, we put in a sauce. We put on the lid and back on the stove at a very, very low heat. Um, I'd say an hour and a half, two hours. Once you see the artichoke sort of uh, takes all the moisture in, um, yeah, she's ready. I prepared four of them earlier. Oh, <laughs> And voila. So there you go, mate. Uh, the traditional uh, carciofa alla la piena. Mm. Prego. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut it down the centre here. Look at that. You there see you the carpi puku as well, Jeff? Yep. Mm. How good's that? Mm. The bomb, bro. Oh, it is the bomb. <laughs> yeah. That is so tender. Mm. Once again, magic with mm. carpai puku, fresh ingredients. Just like a mama used to make. <laughs> <laughs>